So we're trying to find the place to drive our well and strike fantastic water. The water table's 20 feet here, so I feel fairly confident that we'll be able to find water. So I had the idea of why don't we try going near our beautiful birch. This is like the only birch we have out here. And I believe, if I'm correct, that birches need a good supply of water. So I don't know, maybe it's roots go down and hit a beautiful vein of water that we're gonna love. And we try next to the beautiful birch. <laughs> My assumption is that based on the water table and other well records that we could probably put it just about anywhere and find water. The quality, I don't know. So. That beautiful birch is gonna give us beautiful quality. <laughs> I'm sticking with it until I'm very yeah, wrong. We, we can put it here, yeah. Because <laughs> then you can blame me when we, <laughs> when something goes wrong. You can be like, you, you said. made me put it by this birch. You said. <laughs> I like this little pine tree here, though, too. So yeah. Between the two of them, God's like right there. Right there. Maybe right there. I don't know if I'll put it like right there, you know. Maybe like. How do you pick, how do you choose that? I don't know. Well, like, but there's boulders in here. There's a lot of boulders. There are, there are a ton of rocks. Look. Yeah, we're standing on like seven. Oh, so. maybe we shouldn't do it here. Well, this whole area here is full of boulders, so. All right. Today we are going to, at the very least, start the well. So we have to clean the pipes because they use like cutting oils and stuff when they cut threads and things, so we need to clean the insides of them so that that's not in our water whenever, if we find water. So I just brought, bought a, uh, like a cup bottle brush, and I'm just gonna tape it to the end of this, put some water in with some dish soap, and just scrub it. It doesn't necessarily need to be rigid, it just needs to be able to hold. Myself all wet. Oh, yeah, look at that. I mean, I don't think there was like a bunch of crap in there. I think mostly just getting oils out, so. Yeah. I mean, Dawn should be able to cut that. Obviously, if we were having someone drill a well, I don't think it would matter very much where we drill. There's no, nobody else has had issues in this area getting wells. They're all about 60 feet down, so. But since we're doing a drive point well, it does require a little bit more thought where you put your well because the entire tip of the well has to be into the water table for it to work properly, so. I guess we'll find out if there's water here. First, I'm gonna use the pulse hole digger and go down as far as I can because the first section is three feet long and then each section of pipe after that is five feet. And while I am tall at 6'4", 
I'm not that tall. Uh, we do have a T-Post driver that was supposed to be with us, but apparently we left that in our storage unit, so we're without our T-Post driver right now. So sledgehammer today, maybe tomorrow we'll have the T-Post driver. We'll get through that. Hopefully there's no big rocks and um, hopefully we can get through the clay as well with, with just this. Because it is really hard to drive those points through clay. It's like it's like non-Newtonian fluid, where if you if you were to punch non-Newtonian fluid, it would it would firm up and get really hard with a with a forceful impact. Versus if you were to just you know set something on it, it would sink in. But because we know there is clay, we've been dealing with it in our driveway for months now. So. Well, it didn't stop me there. Also, you could just be scraping against it on the side. Actually, I think that's what it is. Yeah. When we owned our house, we did a couple of fence projects, and I always just used a spade to dig the holes, and getting below the frost line was like, I think, two and a half feet three feet or something like that. So I'd always dig these post holes with a spade and they were always like, like a foot in diameter and it took forever. And I'm like, I don't know how deep I am, but I did that much quicker than I did with the spade. So $44 well spent. Well, there's no wrong tool for a job, just a guy who's a glutton for punishment. There you go. What? Rock. It feels like kind of just gravel there, though. Now I should be able to move. So <laughs> it does feel like. Uh, this is a drive cap that protects the threads so you're not beating directly on them. Try and make it level. I feel like it's going. Yeah. I want to make sure that this is not coming loose. Yeah. So that's a good way to ruin it. Booger up your threads. It does feel like it stopped. Go up and down and see what that sounds like. See here. That was better. I think it moved this way a little. That sounds better. 
It's definitely going in. Okay. Just don't be reckless while I'm gone. All right, well, I'm gonna run in the storage unit and get our post, post hole driver, I think to make today successful at all make the progress that we need we're just going to need to to get that so that we can get it in a little more effectively than the sledgehammer hello hello way down there in the ground oh yeah, yeah oh yeah it was like right in. there that was like a whopping two inches a lot of work for two inches man <laughs> so I had the cap on there maybe you can see yeah you can see right there boogered up all of those threads mm. and I, I I don't know it should be fine I hope mm -hmm. the one that was returned and had the pipe dope already in it that's the one I'm using as the sacrificial impact absorber. Lift it. Lift it. I think oh. you're going to have to help All right, me. let me do it. Good job, Nora. Let me. You're so strong. We need to fix our mess up from the other day. So I need to <clears throat> cut the pipe off and re-thread it. So I've got the pipe cutter. I've got a threader down there. So can do that and hopefully be able to keep moving on this and drive some more pipe into the ground. Cut. <clears throat> and this $15 Harbor Freight tool did it. So glad I cleaned this pipe out <laughs> just to get cutting oil in it.
that side. You just can't do it without getting your hands dirty. <laughs> Right, the first step. <laughs> oh, here you go. Okay. All right. But we know there's not water at eight feet. So, day two on the well, or second time working on the well. We got the boogered up threads cut off, new threads cut, drove that in, and a new pipe on top of that, so nine, ten feet in now at this point. Um, set these drive couplers, keep messing up the threads. The well, the, the, the drive cap did the same thing. Actually, it did it worse than these couplers. Um, they just keep hitting like where they bottom out, they just mash all the threads down. And then when I go to put another pipe on, it won't stay tight when I hit it. It just comes loose and then it's like a straw. If there's a hole in your straw and you try to suck water up out of your cup, you're not going to get very much, if any at all. So if these aren't staying tight and sealing, you're never going to suck the water out of the pipe. So I'm at a point where now I've got to cut the threads off this one and re-thread the pipe. Um, I, I, I don't know why this isn't working or what you should be doing. I don't know. Kind of at a loss, but I guess I have the stuff to fix it. So I'll just keep doing that. And it's slow. It's just very slow. So I think we're going to rent the gas powered post driver and go to town on it and that should make it a lot easier in terms of getting it into the ground. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at.